Good evening and thank you so much for staying tuned to Champions TV. This is Nature Talk and I'm your host Grace Acheng. And today we are talking about the blue economy and we have a guest in our studios. He is going to introduce himself and we are going to continue from there. Thank you very much Grace for having me here. It's a pleasure uh, for having me here to talk about uh, the things that pertain in our economy and our country. My name is Geoffrey Masharia. I'm a marine specialist and a scientist based uh, in uh, Mobasa County. Thank you so much, Geoffrey. And just to begin with, uh, explain to us uh, what you understand by blue economy and why is it important currently? Uh, blue economy, to start with, is a new term which has not been there uh, for many years from the past. And uh, basically, blue economy is uh, the, the utilization of marine resources mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to enhance our economy in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, to start with, even before I talk about the importance of blue economy, mm -hmm. okay, we know that uh, from the uh, beginning, mm -hmm. uh, people have been uh, dwelling much in the inland mm -hmm. okay, resources such as agriculture and so on. Mm -hmm. But in the recent past, uh, people have now started uh, going uh, blue, that is venturing into the marine ecosystem. Because you understand that there is a lot of resources in the marine ecosystem that have not been utilized. And uh, now this is the time now to utilize them. And uh, that is where, uh, why now the term blue economy came uh, to place. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has a lot of importance because one thing is that blue economy uh, uh, give back to the community. That is, it provides employment to very many people. So in Kenya currently, we are having a challenge of uh, employment, mm -hmm. okay, especially to young people. And our blue economy has come to, uh, to give back to the community and it has provided a lot of job opportunities to young people. Mm -hmm. Also, we see uh, blue economy helping in conserving the environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, currently we are having a problem okay, with the global warming and so on. Mm -hmm. And our blue economy has come to help conserve our uh, resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, that is why it is very much important. Mm -hmm. Yes. And from your previous discussion, you've just said uh, that we have uh, very many uh, blue uh, resources that have not been tapped yet. Mm. So do you have some of the few examples of these resources? To start with, for example, mm -hmm. okay, when, uh, when it comes to fisheries, mm -hmm. uh, people have been utilizing the resources that are near shore. But when uh, we go deep to the sea, we realize that there, uh, there are a lot of uh, fish that have not been utilized. And uh, uh, so in terms of fisheries, so blue economy is helping in uh, venturing into the deep sea so that uh, we can uh, get the resources f okay, from the deep sea. Because we have a lot of resources in the deep sea that have not been utilized. So that is number one, fisheries. Number two is about uh oil and gas exploration mm -hmm. okay we understand uh in the sea uh so we have a lot of minerals such as oil and gas mm -hmm. and the blue economy has come to help us uh, uh utilize these resources mm -hmm. yeah uh that is number two mm -hmm. you know so we have another okay example of for example mariculture mm -hmm. uh okay, mariculture is basically the uh, capturing of uh, marine species mm -hmm. okay for example shrimps and uh, we know that, that uh, these resources or these species have a lot of advantage to the economy and so on. So uh, blue economy has helped in uh, uh, venturing into mariculture, which uh, has helped uh, okay, into building our economy slowly by slowly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so uh, maybe you can just, is, uh, is this, you say that uh, blue economy is actually a new term. Mm. And so what are some of the threats that the blue economy is? Really facing currently? One major uh, challenge facing blue economy is pollution. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, in the recent past, mm -hmm. people have been polluting the sea. Okay, starting with uh, disposing raw uh, waste to the sea. Mm -hmm. And uh, this has uh, been a threat to the marine ecosystem. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, in the marine ecosystem, we have mangrove ecosystem, seagrass ecosystem, mm -hmm. coral reef. 
of ecosystem and uh, all these ecosystem are home uh, to very many uh, species and uh, now pollution ha okay, has been affecting these resources okay, first of all uh, okay to start with the plastic bags uh, and uh, these plastic bags have been uh, okay, affecting these resources okay these species uh, by for example uh, uh, choking them to death and uh, so there is threat number one pollution and uh, threat number two uh, is that uh, uh, over okay, over fishing and uh, yes yes and uh, farmers in the coast okay as I had said earlier okay is that they are utilizing the resources that are only few meters from the shore and uh, now because we have a lot of fishermen fishing in a very small area so we experience uh, overfishing and uh, this has brought to a drastic decrease in uh, fish species so that is number two number three is that uh, due to the development uh, so we have uh, okay the recent uh, years uh, a lot of ecosystems have been degraded so for example to start with the mangrove ecosystem seagrass ecosystem okay have been degraded uh, to make room uh, for the development in the country and i think uh, those are the major challenges and threats that have been affecting uh, uh, these ecosystems okay or in uh, uh, simple terms the blue economy mm -hmm. yes. okay uh, and actually i actually agree with you because microplastic is among the uh, major uh, global emerging issues currently mm -hmm. in the ocean sector mm -hmm. and so uh, what are some of the risks that are coming up with the economic practices in the blue economy mm -hmm. the risks that are coming up as a result of now people are concentrating more mm -hmm. on blue economy mm -hmm. and we have economic activities taking place there mm -hmm. so what are some of the risks that are accompanied with these activities thank you very much for the question uh yeah because uh, okay blue economy have it has not been there uh okay in the past and because it's a new term that has been introduced, so we see okay, a lot of people venturing into the seas. And uh, one uh, risk we have okay, is that even uh, people who are not uh, skilled to handle marine ecosystems okay, are now going to try to utilize these, uh, these resources. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in return, we experience drastic degradation of these ecosystems. So, uh, then number two, we experience a lot of uh, okay, overpopulation in the coast mm -hmm. because now people are moving from inland to the coast mm -hmm. so that they may utilize these resources. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a major risk because, yeah, because uh, okay, when people uh, okay, increase in number in a certain place, now the things uh, to do with waste management becomes a problem. So I think uh, that's another risk mm -hmm. uh, okay, of this uh, uh, blue economy thing. And, uh, but I know Okay, if this, uh, 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 this term or this new venture is uh, considered or is uh, practiced in a sustainable way, it can be a very uh, great opportunity to the country uh, 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 for the future generation. Yeah, both for the present and future generations. Yeah. Okay, and uh, so from your discussion, you have been we have been talking about um, the issues in the blue economy. And maybe you can just talk to us about uh, climate change and the blue economy. Okay, climate change has been an issue, a global issue, okay, affecting the globe. Yeah. And uh, now, okay when, it, oh, okay, when it comes to the blue economy, okay, first it is uh, trying to mitigate uh, uh, this climate change. You can also, in a way, it is uh, okay, increasing the effect of the uh, climate change. Okay, to start with, okay, how it is uh, okay, trying to mitigate uh, okay, climate change. Okay, as I had said earlier, okay, when people are venturing into these ecosystems, now they are uh, uh, trying to conserve these ecosystems more and more because what they want is okay, sustainable uh, resources that will be found uh, okay, for a long period of time. Yeah, and uh, yeah, true. Now, uh, this has uh, helped or this has uh, brought uh, mm -hmm. 
Juki has brought an interest to the conservationists and the scientists now to try to conserve these ecosystems. For example, uh, seagrass ecosystems, mangrove ecosystems. And we know that um, uh, these two ecosystems help in mitigating uh, the effect of the, blue, uh, the, of the climate change. But because we know that one major effect of the climate change is a uh, 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 level of CE rise. And uh, we know uh, there are a lot of uh, negative effects uh, brought by sea level rise. Juki, such as now, uh, uh, yeah, Juki, a lot of uh, negative uh, effects. And uh, now because people have now started uh, conserving these ecosystems, that is, uh, okay, mangrove sea ecosystems and coral reef, now it is helping in uh, preventing uh, waves from... Uh, uh, okay, affecting the shoreline directly from the sea. So I think uh, that's one uh, major advantage of the blue economy. Okay, when it, it okay when it comes to the climate change. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for staying tuned to Champions TV. This is Nature Talk, and you can join our conversation by sending us a direct text message to the number displayed on the screen. You can also follow us on uh, Twitter at Champions TV Kenya, on our Facebook page at Champions TV Kenya, on and on Instagram at Champions TV Kenya. We will be right back after the break. <music>